Good evening, everyone. Today, we live in a very connected digital world that is supposed to be here to make our life easier, to make our decisions easier. But the question is, in the age of fintech, has Westtech actually delivered its promise? Has Westtech actually, more precisely, empowered me in this time of shared uh, intelligence? Now, let's have a look. Let's look at Patricia to figure it out. She's an associate, she's got three kids, a mortgage, a jump in wealth of 500,000 sterling, legacy, whatever, and she's worried about her retirement. She has no go-to solution today to get this money invested and get this retirement, whatever other worries, sorted out. She's got three options today to try to figure out what she should do. The first one is to go for financial advisors. Like most of us, she would go on Google, 1.4 million options to choose from. Gosh, it's deterring. She heard on the radio, reading of the press about robot advisor. There again, she goes into Google to find one, half a million clicks. And the problem with robot advisors, they're not advisors. They're traditional online investment managers. So the question is, which one to choose? What is a narrow selection of products really suitable for me? Why does Patricia have to give up power unto them to decide what to do about her own money? Especially, they have no actually 360 views about a wealth situation. The alternative, she can't try to do it on her own, which means she has to figure out about what kind of asset allocation she wants, equities, fixed income, cash, you know, going solo takes a lot of time. Today, it's all about the same thing. Either a leap into the unknown by giving some power to someone else you barely know, or spending lots of time to figure out what you should do. And we're here to kill this dilemma. I'm JB, the co-founder of Tripio Banker, SYB, it's more, more institutional, and with the investment is a smart investment decision platform. What does that mean? We're here to kill the fluff and the crap that keeps people away from making their own decision on their own that kill that impede them from being their own portfolio manager, cleverly, objectively, simply. To do that, we combine the power, excuse me, I'm a bit faster than my, uh, here we go. We combine the power of machine learning and big data to really deliver an effective, highly personalized solutions that turns you into your most trusted investment managers by your own. How? By curating those investment opportunities, fun products that suits your profile, your ambitions, your wealth situations. You have got access to the full spectrum of product like any pro would, but you return control. No more hassles in finding someone else to manage your own money. No more pain or chance to give in trying blindly some alternative you barely know of. How do we compare with the rest of the actors? So, uh, so let's take Agrave Lansdown from supermarket and Nutmeg. So, with our in apps with its intelligent core, we give you decision control, unlike robot advisors. We give you a 360 dashboard view on your own situation, what, what insurance would call as a liabilities management. What is my wealth today? What is it going to be like, depending on what I want to do? Send the kids to school, um, university, you name all your projects in life, and it will give you a 360 view on your wealth. Uh, and nobody else provides this, so that you make a better informed decisions. Of course, it's user-friendly, and human support on top, thanks to our conciergerie services. So our business model is very straightforward. It is a two-sided marketplace. You pay a fee for using our tools to select on your own like a pro. Conversely, we charge asset managers for, and uh, we provide them uh, more precisely with uh, market data research so that they calibrate their products better to serve you better. So everybody wins. So we're here premium up. Now, this is my team. I'm very lucky to work with Eve. He used to be the world's early expert in AI. He used to be the MD at uh, Lehman Brothers. Kalisa joined us from, New from Learn Invest in New York, which was one of the early fintech wealth tech startups. We're supported by Francesco, which is our head of sales, and t our AI dev. So today, you will excuse my Gallic side, but today, it is time we use technology to do what it's supposed to do empower us, make decisions on our own with the right knowledge that we need instead of, instead of giving up power to someone else. So join us, join us StripYourBanker.com, the investment decision empowerment platform. Thank you very much.
Any questions? Which stage are you at at the moment to customers or are you, are you prospecting? So we have 100 Alpha customers, which represent about 120 million sterling. Okay, and we're moving into private beta and opening up in public beta in September. So how do you get the information about your multi-jurisdictional or multinational investments? I mean, banks, property, etc. How do you accumulate the information? Do I have to enter into it? Do I so, put it in? So Is that how it works? Today, yes, you have to enter it if you want, because it's very personal data and people, you know, you need some time. I know that, that's why I asked. <laughs> yeah. So people will disclose what they think. And for the ALM, you don't need to give it very precisely. You know, the gross indication, let's say, of what you have is enough and you can do it in percentage or in, number, or in currency units, whatever works for you. So it's on self-disclosure basis to begin with on personal data such as what your assets are. Yeah. So property, technical investment, bank investments, shares, etc. Yeah. Who accumulates that information? How do I get it to you? So you save this data onto our, onto our systems, yes, that's for sure. So, so you put it, it yourself, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.